Hi, I'm Ellen from the Spellbound Bee Company and today we're going to make some Incy Wincy Spiders. Now, available on our website is the pattern to make the Incy Wincy earrings. So just the, the little small ones. But today, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to scale it up and make a larger one. Just so you can see what I'm doing, really. So, what you're going to use today, we're going to use one 12mm faceted, faceted bead. For some reason I can't say that today. One 10 millimetre black faceted bead and a and some uh, size 8 seed beads. So what we're going to thread them onto, we're going to be using wire. So this is a 0.315 millimetre black wire. So the first thing we need to do is find the centre of the wire. And this is where we're going to be threading our beads onto. So if you just pop your finger there to help find the centre. And the joy of working with wire, it doesn't always want to go where you want it to. So the first thing we're going to do is take the end of our wire, we're just going to thread on nine beads. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine beads and drop those down to the centre there and just leaving one bead aside we're going to thread the wire and back through the remaining eight like so and then pull the wire through so that bead we've left out the first act as an anchor on the end there. So that is our first spider leg on there. And next carrying on using the same end of wire, we're trying to get this bit out of the way. Using the same end of wire we were using, thread on another nine beads. So that is uh, one, two, three, Four, five, eight, nine, and drop those down to the centre so they're sitting next to the, the first uh, leg of beads. <laughs> and then once again, leave the first bead out, or well, the end bead out, and pass your wire back through the eight beads of your leg. Now, try to keep the beads sitting next to the next to the first set of beads and pull the wire through. Try and leave as small a gap as possible between the two legs here and then just give it a little twist to keep it in place. And then carry on still using the same length of wire. Thread on another nine. Another two. Four, five, six, seven, about eight, and nine. Just have a little check there. Two, three, four, six, eight, nine. Working with wire, sometimes it doesn't always sit as uh, kindly as you want it to. It can get a little springy. Once again, we're going to thread, leave our bead aside and thread your wire back through, making sure you're going through every single bead, not leaving one out. And again, keeping them as close as you can and pulling your wire through. A little bit of a bigger gap there than I had before, but that's okay because we're just going to give it a little twist into place. Like so. Okay. And then we're going to do the final leg for this side of the spider. Thread on your, your nine beads again.
and then passing it wire back up through the eight. Like so. Pull it all into place. So there we've got four spider's legs. <coughs> Okay, so there we've got our four spider's legs. And I'm just going to, next I'm going to do is thread the body on. So if you pass the body down along the long length of wire and then put the shorter length we've been working on <coughs> through there as well. Okay, and then what I want to do is just move the short length that we've been already been using just out of the way slightly. That'll help keep your, your body bead in, in place as well. And then using the longer length of wire, we're going to thread on our nine beads again to make our leg on this side. Okay, there's your nine. A little bit tricky this bit because you do need to try and keep try and make sure this leg sits at right place to the body. So once again, if you just leave you leave your uh, anchor bead out, the one at the end, pass your wire through the nine beads, and then if you try and keep the beads up close to the body, and then pull the wire through in a gentle, smooth movement. That should keep your legs up nice and close to the body. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now I'm going to fill in the, the, the remaining three legs, and then I shall come back to you and show you how to put the head on. So as you can see, our spider has now got eight legs. So I've just this is the piece of wire that I've just been working on with the legs on this side. So what we're going to do is just pass that piece of wire, pass that end of wire back through the center, and that will just keep all these legs in line on the one side there. Okay. Like that. So that now we just need to pop his head on. So if you just take your 10 millimeter facet. And we're going to thread that on, like so. And then if you just leave a little gap, it looks like it's quite a long gap there, but if you leave, leave a little gap there and pass the wire back through the centre of the body again, like so, making sure not to get any of his legs caught up in the way. Leave your wire like that. And what you're going to do is you're just going to twist the wire to keep his head in place there. Like that. Keeps the wire nice up, up nice and close. And because it's black you can't really see it. Okay. So there you've got shapey spider. So with the two two wire ends that you've got left, what we're just going to do is we're just going to wrap it round the legs a couple of times just to give it a little, little bit of added security. And the same with this, the one on this side. Wrap it round. And then just taking your wire cutter, so we're just going to trim it off And then this is the bit that can be quite, ooh, so he's just trying to escape already. Just taking those two little wire ends that we've trimmed off and then if you just poke those, they're going to go. The wire cutters to help us. Poke those up the centre of the bead. Likewise, 
on the other side, just pop the, poke the little sharp end just out of the way up the centre of the bead. And there you have your little spider. Now you can see at the moment he looks a bit like he's been flattened. It's been squashed flat. So we can so if you're wanting to make a little if just making a little freestanding spider, like one of these, you can put, put some bends just put some bends in his legs to make him stand up. Just give him a little bit more shape and texture. Like that. Or if you're wanting to, you can make it, or you can, what you can do with a spider this size, you could always attach a uh, brooch pin to the back and use them as brooch. In which case, you might want his legs to be slightly flatter. So if you just give, again, just give them a little bit of a twist round. Like so. I'll try and get his legs to face the right way. There we go. And there you have one little beaded spider.